Let's do a Hello World program. When you're learning to program a, a, a language, that's sort of a tradition with programming. The first program that you write would display the words Hello World. This is the display block. Right now it's set up to display an image, and this is the image. You could actually select different images, but we're going to do text. And we're going to select, type in what we want right here. Hello world. If we wanted to reposition it, you can just click and drag. And if we were to download and run it, that would say hello world in the display of our NXT, except for one thing. We wouldn't be able to see it because it would go too fast. And so what we need is to control the program flow. This is a wait block, and basically that just tells we're going to set it for time. We're going to set it for 10 seconds. What happens is, is that it will display Hello World. It will go to the next block, which will count to 10. And then it comes to the end of the sequence beam. And when you get to the end of the sequence beam, the program ends. And the display goes back to what it was in the beginning. The processor is so fast that it would flash Hello World up onto the screen and it would then end the program so quickly that we would never even see it. The wait block slows things down a bit for us so that we can see it. The program won't end so quickly. So that is what the wait block's for. Now I'm going to turn on my computer, my, my NXT, and I'm going to um, connect it to a computer by pushing scan here. I am visible and I'm connected now. When you see the battery light up, you will know um, that you're connected. Also, it says connected right here. And I can close this up. And now I'm going to download and run. Do you see it say hello world? And after about 10 seconds, It goes back to the main display. So this is our, let's just write this up here, Hello World program. And I'm going to save it, file, save as, Hello World. And I'm going to save it. It's going to be stored in my little uh, folder named Default. And so that's how we make a Hello World um, program. See ya.